Hey everyone, it's time for the Portland Metro Market Stats where I go over three areas on the east side, three areas on the west side. We compare the actives, the news, the pendings, and the solds to the previous week. And uh, let's get to it. So we have Lake Oswego in West Lynn. We have the actives at 212, which is up by four. The news are 34, which is down by seven. Pendings 30, down by four. And solds 36, up by 12. Gladstone, Milwaukee, and Happy Valley. We have the actives at 380, just down by three. The news are 56, down by 12. The pendings are 63, which are up by six, and the solds are 55, up by five. Oregon City, Canby, and Malala. We have the actives at 236, which is down by 12. The news are 34, up by three. Pendings 48, up by nine, and solds are 31, up by one. Over on the west side of town, we have Beaverton and Aloha. We have the actives at 311, which is down by 13. The news are 64, down by 13. Pending 68, up by 18. And solds 54, up by 19. Tualatin and Sherwood, your actives are 310, down by 11. The news are 59, down by 22. The pending 68, up by 2. And the solds 50, up by three. Finally, we have Forest Grove, Hillsboro. We are at actives at 309, down by four. The news are 50, down by one. The pendings are 57, up by two. And the solds are 60, up by 19. Well, what I'm seeing across the board is the news on the market are a little bit down. Not a lot, but a little bit down. The actives on the market Almost everyone, yep, down. So I think we have a little bit of back to school stuff happening over here. We don't have any big forest fires or any big real catastrophes going on right now, but we do have that fear of the high interest rates and then the schools uh, starting. So I do believe that people are a little bit preoccupied right now and they're, they have a little bit of fear of going on. And not a lot of people are putting those homes on the market per se because they are wondering what's going to happen. If I sell my house here, am I going to pay a high interest rate here? I don't think that the the interest rates are that high. I mean, I've been in the industry long enough to know that the uh, interest rates have been higher. I do eventually think that they will come down a little, but I think that might be a little bit of time. And I am a big advocate for buying property as an investment. I think it is safer, in my opinion, than putting it in the stock market and uh, because there's a lot of volatility there. So homes, you know, traditionally five to six percent increase in value, increase in equity every year. Yes, we've been having the, you know, 20 percent growth in your home value. That's not sustainable. The market's not going to crash, in my opinion. It's not going to crash, but it will sustain out. Six percent is a great savings. It's more than you're going to get in the bank. Anyways, I am licensed in Oregon, Washington, and Arizona. If you know of anyone who's thinking about buying or selling, I would be happy to help. Please reach out. I hope you all have an amazing day.